pulse the program. I asked y'all on Twitter, who do you want us to cover next? What's the next program you want to get a pulse of? And we got tons of great answers, but one that kept popping up was the Cornhuskers of Nebraska. You know the deal with them. So close so many times. It was like Rod Way. Heart been broke so many times. I don't know what to believe is how Nebraska fans have felt previously. And it's fair. You, you've lost double-digit games by one score. That hurts. Finally, last year, you say enough is enough. Scott Frost, we love you. But we can't keep doing this anymore. This is not good for our health. So you go throughout the duration of the season, and you end up hiring none other than Matt Rule. Now, it didn't work out in the NFL. That's fine. Ask Nick Saban, you don't have to have NFL success to be a good college football coach. Different sports, different way of operating. And so for Nebraska, a lot of excitement right now. A lot of excitement around what they could be. And so to reset the, uh, the approach for us here with Pulse of the Program, a couple things we always got to mention. One, program is not a typo. It's what we call these football teams. The teams that focus on the internal, focus on doing it the, the, the process way and building it from the ground up. Those are programs, all right? Not programs, those are programs. So the U is not a typo. Very, very clearly, because I know we'll get that somewhere in the comment section. So just guarding against that really quick. Also, the pulse of the program series is meant to take a pulse of the fan base and as best we can tell, the pulse of the internal operation at Nebraska within that building. So the pulse of the program, the pulse of that fan base rather at Nebraska is rebranding. And when I say rebranding, I'm not talking about rebuilding. I'm not talking about revamping. I'm talking about rebranding. And rebranding is typically a way of shifting your focus and shifting your perspective on a certain topic. In Twitter's case, they're shifting from Twitter to, I don't know what they're shifting to, but you hear what I'm saying. Rebranding is a change of how you look at things. And for Nebraska, the fan base, it is an entire expectation shift from what they come to expect from Scott Frost to what they will expect of Matt Rule. Because Scott Frost, when he came to Nebraska, it was, okay, we're going to be more spread out. We're going to go quickly. We're going to run a new style of offense. We're going to be flashy. And now with Matt Rule, the approach is, we're going to be physical. We're going to be blue collar. We're going to be gritty. We're going to play in the trenches. We're not going to beat ourselves. We're not. We're, we're not going to be a team that just shoots ourselves in the foot by having dumb special teams errors. That's not going to be who we are under Matt Rule. Because of what we know of him from his track record, both at Temple and at Baylor. And the way that Matt Rule wants to operate his football team is exactly what this fan base, I think, is starving for. He came on this very show and told us himself, I think me and the fan base are aligned in what we expect from this team from a style standpoint. They're going to line up with the fullback. They're going to have a tight end, if not multiple tight ends, on the field. They're going to play smash mouth. They're going to make you earn it if you're on the defense. They're going to take three yards in the cloud of dust and play football physically. And so for Matt Rule and for this team, I think the internal feel, we, we say it all the time, but there's an overlap there. The rebrand for them is the rebrand and how they view themselves at Nebraska. Because I'll say this, I've been a part of some losing teams and the external chatter after a while starts to seep into that locker room and you start to question yourself start to say, well, maybe we are a four and eight football team. Maybe, maybe they're right. Maybe, maybe we, we are a team that just kind of gets close and we got some good pieces, but we're never going to get over the hump. And that's poison. And that's a mindset thing. And it's something that Matt rule right now is trying to drive out of that locker room and trying to drive out, drive out of that team. I would imagine. I think the rebrand is, Hey, there's a sense of pride here. You are the team in Nebraska. I mean, I can speak just from the YouTube numbers. The way that Nebraska faithful root for their Cornhuskers, the sellout, the way that they just devour Nebraska football year-round, it's a beautiful thing. It's a special thing, and it is something that I think this team now probably took pride in previously, but I think Matt Rule was really making it a case like, hey, there, there is a pride thing when you wear that N on the side of your helmet. You don't listen to the outside chatter. You don't listen to all those people saying what Nebraska football was. We're here now. We're rebranding. It's a new era at Nebraska football. It's a new era. It's a new brand of football. They don't beat themselves. Old school used to do it. I say old school. Old regime used to do it. We don't do that here. And I can say from playing for Matt Rule for a short period of time, that is one of the key things for him is the process. I'm not worried about results. I'm not worried about Saturday because guess what? We got a Tuesday practice to attack. 
Saturday we'll get here, but we better win Tuesday first. How do you win Tuesday? Showing up on time. Showing up for lunch on time. Eating the right things at lunch. Having your uniform the right way. Not wearing hats in the building. Things like that. Those are things that he implemented at Baylor that I would imagine he still has implemented at Nebraska. And it sounds small. It sounds dumb to people on the outside looking in. But I'm telling you, when you have attention to detail to every little thing you do, that adds up over time. If I can trust you to wear the right thing to practice on Tuesday, I can probably trust you to block the right guy on fourth and one to beat Iowa. Right? Like those things add up over time. And that is the rebrand right now that's going on at Nebraska. So in part with this rebrand, I want to make sure that we say this. Nebraska is not rebuilding. They went to the portal, added 14 individuals that are going to help them this coming season. They did not overhaul the roster. Yes, they lost some guys to the portal as well, but this is not just a total knock the whole thing down, build it back up. You won one game last year. No, it's nauseating to talk about if you're a Nebraska fan, but even so, you've been close multiple times. And close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, but the same thing is true for Nebraska. They're not that far off to being a bull eligible football team, right? And so when you look at the history for Matt Rule, he's rebuilt some places. Rebuilt Temple, we've said it a lot on this show. Rebuilt Baylor when a lot of places were, were saying they should get the death penalty, like, those were different operations than what he's walking into at Nebraska. Nebraska has some talent on the roster, utilized the portal, something that didn't exist the same way it does now when Matt Rule was in college at Baylor. It existed, but you hear what I'm saying. There were some different rules that were in place that limited how you could use it. They got some pieces now. And so I don't think it'll be a three-year rebuild like what we've seen historically from Matt Rule. I think it'll be a little bit closer to two. Now, what does a rebuild amount to in your mind or a rebrand amount to? I think that's probably up to us to talk about as we get further and further into this thing. But I think they're a bull eligible team this year. And I think they are a team that can build off of that in the coming seasons. I don't think it's a thing where you got to knock it all down and slowly but surely scratch and claw and find your way back to being competitive. I think they'll be competitive this year. I think they'll be more competitive, though, in years to come under Matt Rule. So the pulse for Nebraska internally and within that building, it is a rebrand. It is a new era of Cornhusker football, and I can't wait to see it. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.